شفاعت یاد سری کردیم امین شلون است tonight is interactive thursday so we have uh, questions and, and people can email help me at nurmuhammad.com and alhamdulillah many many generous people for the milad and the maulid that will be happening here will be happening in the orphanages in pakistan and uh, general blessings for the immensity of milad and the knowledges that we're putting out for the reality of milad the nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam is a light that sparks within everybody's heart of their Muhammadan haqqaiq. And Allah dress and bless all those from supporting and, and sponsoring and somebody stepping forward to sponsor the whole Mawlid in Canada. So alhamdulillah very beautiful and, and uh, very pious souls, righteous souls and inshaAllah Allah dress them, bless them and that uh, no doubt the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad to, to dress them and bless them inshaAllah. As Salaamu Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa Rahmatullah Can you please speak about the reality of the Khalifas and deputies of Imam Mahdi alayhi salam? Inshaallah we, we said that there are seven and Sayyidina Mahdi is the Lion of Allah and they hold the seven attributes of the holy face and they represent that holy face on this earth. And that position is then dressed to different awliya Allah. The levels of the hard book we have the mentioning of them and their positions at the lataif of the heart. And that Mawlana Shamat al-Fardani is at the station of the qalb and responsible for the conveyance of knowledges. And that was also the dress of Sayyidina Ibn Arabi and is an inheritor from that maqam and that reality. Abdul Rauf Yamani is the station of the sir. And it's a red and it has to do with war, has to do with struggle and fighting which is under also the authority of Sayyidina Mikail the angels, Sayyidina Umar Farooq the Sahabi and Sayyidina Abdul Qadir for power and might. So two flags that are important is Shamat al-Fardani, Abdul Rauf yamani because ilm and power or knowledge and defense is the two flags that Allah established upon the heart of the believer. Allah can't, Allah won't give knowledge if He doesn't send a dragon to defend the servant. It's like me giving you 10,000 10, gold coins and every devil going to eat you then that was like a curse because you'll be eaten. So what Allah want to bestow upon the servant knowledges, He assigns for them a dragon to guard that servant. And these are the dragons of Jahannam in which they have the immense fire and scare the heck out of every shayateen. That's their guardian from paradise upon this earth. And that's why old times they used to dra draw the, the king's holy men with dragons because the dragon accompanied the holy knowledge that they, they contain. And those are dragons from paradise that guard their paradise reality. And since they are opening their reality on earth, Allah sends their paradise guardian to accompany them. So then these realities are immense within the heart and the lataifs of the heart inshaAllah. But for that is for now is enough inshaAllah. <coughs> uh, as Salaamu Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah. If we are doing everything, the awrads, but feel something bad is still inside us, is there something we can recite on water to remove it? <clears throat> yeah, don't worry about what's inside you. There's a lot of bad, the bad never goes, shaitan doesn't leave. So it's a matter of just you do the zikrs and you do the muraqabah. This is not a self-help. So the more that you do the muraqabah, the more that you do the connection, the shaykhs are present and they see what's there, they know what's there, they know that how to push that out 
And the only way to push that out is by bringing them in. It's not about you becoming aware and trying to take out something, that won't leave. And it's a matter of, of bringing the, the fires of the shaykh and to enter into the fana of the shaykhs. So that when their light comes in and begins to clean and the light of their shaykh and their shaykh and their shaykh they come and begin to clean and to build the light of that servant until they can bring them to the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad and then the nazar and the light of Prophet begins to enter into insan inshaAllah. As Salaamu Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam Are we to count the number of salawats we do throughout the day? To count the number? We all have a counter on our tasbih because you, you want to keep a basic count so that you don't think you did 10,000 but did five. So you have a tasbih and then we use a pin, a safety pin on the tasbih and every time we make a full round then we click and then you go all the way around and then you click. We use a 200 count tasbih because it's much faster than a hundred count and there's a barakah in the two hundred that Mawlana Shaykh brought for everybody that to do with the two hundred you make five rounds and it's a thousand. And that goes a lot faster than hundred and then keep counting on the top part moving it hundred and then moving it on again. So alhamdulillah with the two hundred count it's five rounds is a thousand. We put a safety pin on it to keep clicking it every time we go and easily you can do five thousand, ten thousand, twenty thousand and finish the whole tasbihs at twenty thousand for salawats, inshaAllah. Uh, as Salaamu Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa Rahmatullah uh, What is the secret of succeeding in this holy path and what are some common mistakes that stop people from reaching? I think that's what we just talked about with the dog. If we, if we truly and, and, and honestly want to reach and you know everyone's sincerity, you cry at night, Ya Rabbi don't let me be a hypocrite, don't let me to, to think that I'm doing good and then I'm yelling, screaming, cursing, doing all sorts of things then I'm a hypocrite and you raise me as a munafiq when you know no one knows how they're going to die if this is your character and tomorrow you die. Nobody knows when their time is. You'll actually meet Allah as if you were a hypocrite, that you were pretending to be pious but you were belligerent and angry and, and absurd and all sorts of horrible things. So when sincerity comes they cry every night, they say, Ya Rabbi please I don't, I don't want to have these bad characteristics, I don't want this anger, I don't want this qadab. Then they begin to, when you feel sincere, you have to feel, the person has to feel sincere, then they try to do everything. They try to be sincere in their washing and then so as soon as anger comes they stop the discussions, they put water on themselves, they go pray to rakahs because they don't want the shaitan to come, they don't want these, these things to come that will make Allah to be angry at them. So that's the sincerity, somebody who lacks sincerity they don't, they don't care when it comes, they just let it roll in and begin to you know wreak havoc on everything and and then just say sorry but sorry doesn't mean anything to Allah So that, that's you know everyone has a, a point in which they're going to be sincere and sincerity is then when they begin to take it upon themselves, they cry, they, 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 they punish themselves so that they can reach to that reality. They don't punish other people and say sorry. Inshaallah. As Salaamu Alaykum Sayyidi Can a non Naqshbandi do muraqaba? Can a non who? Non Naqshbandi, if they're not Naqshbandi. Naqshbandi? If they're not Naqshbandi. Yeah, sure. Anybody can do muraqaba, but if you're learning muraqaba, why don't you become Naqshbandi? So it means that if you're eating from the table and you're trying to learn from this table and you see the feast of, of these realities, that's a sign that, look that's, that's where I should be from. I'm sitting with them, I'm eating with them, I'm, I'm taking all the barakah with them. So I'm 
from them, but why don't I recognize that? And everyone has their, their own issues. So within your heart you can say, of course I'm Naqshbandi, I'm eating with them, I'm listening and everything about me is, is connected with them, inshaAllah. Asalaamu Sayyidi, on that note someone's asking later, uh, can, we, can we take the bayah? Someone wants to take bayah today? Yeah, inshaAllah at the end we can recite that before we, we do the khatam inshaAllah. Um, As Salaam Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah Is it permissible to hear this live feed and khatam while we're out traveling or at our office or should we avoid so? Sure, no you can listen to the live feed whenever you're in the house doing something you put headphones on and you know each, each has its own reality. When you're driving you can listen to it, sometimes driving can be very spiritual. But you don't want to get an accident and lose your attention to something and you know you're at home doing work and you want to listen, no problem. And then there are times where if, if it's a you know, subject that you feel very connected to then you may want to re-listen to it sort of in your meditation and focused and connecting your heart and taking notes. So you can listen to something multiple times but one time or so you have to sort of sit with taking notes and trying to be a student of the way. And that, you know, that, that can't be substituted because everything you write of the reality is being burned onto your books and that becomes the knowledge that is put onto the soul of the student. So they're burning a CD. If I play a CD and you put a CD in your hand and just go like this, you have an empty CD and we are playing a CD. But as soon as you begin to write it's like you're burning your copy of a CD. So as the shaykh is speaking he's burning files and replicating these knowledges with your qalam and Allah alam bil qalam. I'll teach you by that qalam that you hold Allah will be putting it onto your CD these knowledges inshaAllah. As Salaamu Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah. If we're, if we're having a, a panic attack or in trouble, is there any specific talk or video we can play to relieve from sickness and lessening the difficulty? Uh, for a panic attack? Yeah, panic attack. Yeah, oh, we have on the, the playlist of du'as. So any of the du'as that you have a particular liking to, you can listen which one sort of calms you and, and has a meditative sound to it. That Ayat al Kursi du'a is very powerful and uh, I think we have du'a manzoor on, on… I don't know which ones we have on, online and, and salawats. The training yourself to immediately make your connection and ask for the, the presence of the shaykh and then just making salawats and connecting your heart. Sometimes a panic is coming because you don't understand what's entered into the area. So panic can, can be many different understandings. Panic can be something from your mind in which you're panicking and worried about the thought so you make your salawats, make your connection. Another is that something could be entering into a space, you don't see what's entering into the space and the heart just begins to flutter and it's, it's getting overly excited. That one you would put ayat or kursi and again make your connection asking for the shaykhs because their madad will clear out anything that is, is trying to, to come that's not supposed to be coming, inshaAllah. Mm. As Salaamu Sayyidi, um, wa salam wa is it not recommended to use the electronic counter type tasbih? Different realities, if you want to count you can you know do anything you want but uh, this hands that Allah made for us and the wood that we use each finger has a representation. So when you know this and we call in the, for the khalifas the longest finger that holds and re the tasbih rests on is from the reality of Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq. The thumb is from the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad and the shahada finger is the reality of Imam Ali So when these three are involved in dhikrullah and that's why all the tariqahs come from these, these two khalifas. So the zikr that you're making there's a support from Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq, there's a, a support from Imam Ali Salam. So there's a light that's coming and moving through the thumb and the reality of Prophet So this movement, there's a reason for this movement and why we, we make the zikr in this fashion. And the reality of the thumb has your spiritual identity. 
and it's unique to your identity and the reality of your index finger has to do with the light in the oceans of power that when you're calling upon that light it comes to be present with you. So the zikr that you're making is producing a light. That energy stays upon the wood because it's something natural from Allah And every zikr that you make is dressing upon your soul. So as a result you're taking the dress of it and also keeping the light of it and the zikr and the tasbih with you and you keep in the presence of Allah and remembering it's time to do your zikr when you keep your tasbih with you inshaAllah. Now electronic is different because you're going like this all day long you actually get your thumb is hurting and it's not producing these different, these different realities. But if that's how you want to do it then alhamdulillah. As Salaamu Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa uh, Is it true we all have a qarin or being with us and can someone else imprison it? Yeah these are uh, Pakistani and Indian stuff. I wouldn't go there. Allah Zubajjad says, I have assigned for everyone a shaitan. So that shaitan is assigned to everyone. Our only focus is to do good, to make the connection with awliya, to have the love of Sayyidina Muhammad visualize ourselves at Rosa Sharif and do your zikr and do your good deeds. The amount of energy you produce, anything Allah put around you is going to be very petrified of you and they probably will come in your way and, and listen. When you start to follow this subculture understanding, the, a whole bunch of garbage starts to come out. You start to look for people who can imprison them, they're not imprisoning anything. They're asking for $5,000 and then they send you three more jinn criminals to accompany you, terrorize you and then keep extorting money out of you. So since you can't see something. Don't deal in that world, leave it alone. What you can see is your shaykh, connect your heart, make your zikr, do your awrads, do all the namaz, everything Allah wanted from us and visualize ourselves in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad Rosa Rosa Sharif and just busy ourselves with our ibadah and our worshipness. Don't try to imprison anything, don't try to go after anything, just imprison the bad character and quickly reach to where you have to go, people there's no more time, you're going to be dealing with dajjal pretty soon. Uh, as Salaamu Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa uh, I have lots of visions and see lots of miracles, does it mean anything and should we write these things down? You can, you can write for yourself but not for us, it doesn't mean anything to us. So this is not uh, of any interest to, to shaykhs, miracles and, uh, and visions and those can also be from jinn where they show things and things begin to happen and, and they begin to entice people like Alice in Wonderland. You go down the rabbit hole and before you know it you're, you're sitting with the Mad Hatter and you the guy, you <laughs> another person sitting there, it's a fantasy world so you don't know what these jinn are showing somebody and where they, they're imagining to take them. That's why we're giving very specific coordinates that I sit, I visualize my shaykh and I'm able to see the shaykh, connect with the shaykh. If you have a nefarious jinn he's not going to allow you to do that because as soon as you sit to make intention the shaykh's soul is present. Have consciousness and keep the company of sadiqeen. Did Allah say that as a physical and did Allah care for your physical world? No, isharat of Qur'an is for the soul and for eternity. When Allah is saying, your eternal soul should have a taqwa, be conscious and have a fear and, and a love and regard for Allah and your life should be kurma sadiqeen, keep the company of pious and, and, and truthful servants who are truthful in their deed and in their action. And Allah doesn't care for dunya so there must be a way to keep their company spiritually at all times. And that's why even the salah, as salamu alaykum ayyuha nabi in present tense, wa salamu alaykum ibadillahi salihin. Who are these ibadullah salihin that I'm facing them and giving salams to them? Allah said, then you should be with them all the time. 
So in my meditation if I'm connecting my heart all the time to be with Ibadullahi Salihin, this is the only company I need. And the energy that comes from it, the nazar that comes from it, the fires that comes from it, that's what Allah wanted for us. That's why He put the words of the salah together for us. These are not uh, from Prophet these words, these were words in which Allah repeated to Sayyidina Muhammad and Prophet brought it to earth for us. So means this is the dialogue Allah wants us to have. And anything you're saying you should be understanding what you're saying. You understand the uloom and the knowledges of what's being said, we're giving salams. So Allah is expecting us to be in the presence of Ibadullahi Saliheen in salah, not in tahiyat after and out, in the salah. And we must be giving our shahada to Prophet and that he must be witnessing our shahada. So these are all stations Allah expected from us. Now everybody's blind in dunya and not praying correctly and then alhamdulillah. But their reality was to achieve these realities, pray as if you see. And if you don't see know that they see us, Allah sees us, the heavenly kingdom sees us. So this way of taskiyah and purification was to achieve the real salah, to achieve the real zikr, to achieve what Allah really wanted from us that shaitan made us to be distracted and we lost on this dunya. As dear beloved Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah. Is there any reality to, I guess, of a burning sensation on the tongue when we feel energized? Sure, there can be burning sensation everywhere when you feel energized because the energy that comes it can be heated and uh, your neck heat up, your feet heat up, your hands heat up. Anytime you're dealing in energy then you know you get hot and cold energies all the time. Is there anything to, to focus on? No, as long as you're focusing on the madad and making sure that the shaykhs are present, Ibadullahi Salihin are present, that's our GPS. That way you know that if you know shaitans are coming into the room, did you do the madad? Did you make the connection and, and ask for the presence of Prophet Ibadullahi Salihin? That's why I said the best time is, is to meditate is after you made salah. Say you make your tahiyyat, salaamu alaykum, salaamu alaykum and then you're meditating and you already gave salams, you already did all of that work to reach to that presence and then you begin to connect your heart. And the azan scared away bad things, the salah scared away bad things and then you make your tafakkur and connection at the end, play some salawats when the namaz is finished and then visualize yourself at Rosa Sharif and making your heart to be connected and to feel the energy and, and to feel the connection inshaAllah. Finish. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzat amma yasifoon wa salaam ala al-mursaleen wa hamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. Shahwati ya Rasul Kareem, inshaAllah we make intention to the order with Sultan al Awliya, Ma'an Shaykh Abdul Faiz al Daghestani, Sultan al Awliya Shaykh Muhammad Nazim Haqqani, and the representative Mawlana Shaykh Muhammad Adil with the barakah of Allah from Mawlana Shaykh Hisham, Mawlana Shaykh Atnan. These are the, the big shaykhs of the way, inshaAllah. With that intention, we're asking Allah to dress us and bless us. And let me pull out, inshaAllah. A'udhu billahi min shaitan ar-radeem, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, Inna ladheena yubayyunaka inna ma yubayyunullah, wa yadullahi fawka aydihim, faman naqadhu fa inna ma yaghuthu ala nafsi, wa man awfa bima ahad, alayhiullah fa sayyidun ajran azeem, fadeetun billahi rabban wa bi islami deena, wa bi sayyidina wa nabiyyana Muhammadun sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Rasulun wa nabiyyun. Wa bi Qur'ani kitabam, wallahumma naqulu wa kee, wa hamdanillahi rabbil alameen. Wa qabilna bi Sayyidina Sultan al-Awliya man Shaykh Muhammad Nazim Haqqani, Shaykhuna wa Murshidina wa Mawlana Shaykh Muhammad Adil, Shaykhuna wa Murshidina, fi barakata awliya Allah, Mawlana Shaykh Hisham Kabbani, Shaykh Adnan Kabbani, wallahumma naqulu wa kee. Allahu, Allahu, Allahu haqq, 
Allahu 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 Hak Allahu 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 Hak Hakku ya Rabbi ila sharfi nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ali sahbi kiram wa la mashayikhina fi tariqatan ashfandiyyatan aliyya khasatan ruhi imam tariqa fawta khaliqa sha'an naqshban Muhammad wa Isa al-Bukhari Satan awliya shaykh Abdul Faiz al-Daghistani Satan awliya shaykh Muhammad al-Adamad al-Hakani Mawlana shaykh Hisham Kabani shaykh Adnan Kabani shaykh Muhammad al-Adil Abd al-Khaliq al-Khujdawani Sahar zaman Sayyidi Muhammad al-Mahdi alayhi salam Ruhullah Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam Sayyifullah Sayyidina alayhi salam Thumma sabbaka Siddiq Sayyidina Umma Sayyidina Uthman Imam al-Hasan alayhi salam, Imam al-Husayn alayhi salam wa Sayyidatana Fatima tiza alayhi salam Sayyidina Musa Qazim alayhi salam inshaAllah fi barakata wa ladata Sayyidina Musa Qazim the son of Imam Ja'far al-Sadiq alayhi salam that Allah Azza dress us and bless us from these holy nights and all these urs and wiladats and the blessings in Safar bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa basir Surat al-Fatiha. Arsalan if you can post the, the article from Shaykh Abdul Faiz al-Daghistani on the Naqshbandi Mawlid and the immensity of a Naqshbandi Mawlid from the station of Mawlana Shaykh Abdul Faiz al-Daghistani that anyone conducting a milad in the name of Mawlana Shaykh Abdul Faiz al-Daghistani under Naqshbandiyat al-Aliyah will granted the reward of nine years of khalwa in his presence at his station. That he asked that any of my students make a milad, a milad al Nabi wasallam. I will ask Allah that they be granted nine years of seclusion with me from my maqam to be dressed upon them, blessed upon them. One, one year is not even understood, can't imagine what nine years of, of that immensity of that blessing. But all that we know is that the fires of awliyaullah immensely open. We pray that Allah inspire and dress all our families and all our communities to support, to give and to make these events to be the reason of our existence. When tahzim and nabi is, is something that can't be done there's no reason to be on this earth. Our only purpose to be on this earth is to raise the flag of the magnificent status of Sayyidina Muhammad Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa bi siri Fatiha.